Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren Sarasua. I'm here in Istanbul, in Turkey. I came here yesterday in the morning. It's a 10 hour direct flight from Miami. Swat so picked me up from the airport, and then we went to go have an amazing Turkish breakfast. You try. Not that much. Here in Turkey, people love their tea. Everybody thinks that Turkish people are crazy about coffee, but they love, love tea. They have it all the time. I never knew that, but it's very delicious and very healthy. So, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then we went back to his house so that we could take a quick nap. I'm staying in one of his guest rooms. Then we went out to a wonderful dinner on the Bosphor. The restaurant we went to is named Uskumru. It's a seafood restaurant, which it's very hard to find me in a seafood restaurant since I'm a spearfisher woman but it's always great to explore the different seafoods that are available in different countries and different cities. So we went to this place and I gotta tell you, it's amazing. Look at this beautiful view. We were right on the Bosphor Strait and they serve such incredible salads, the best melon I've ever had in my entire life. And they had this amazing fried fish that you eat whole, which is one of my favorite things to eat. I didn't get footage of all the food because I just dug right in. But after enjoying a beautiful dinner and an amazing view, we jumped on a cruise that was going to take us to our next destination. So guys, we just finished an incredible dinner here on the canal. And now we're taking a boat. It's going to take us to a club called Oligarch. While we enjoy some champagne on our way to the nightclub, I'm going to share with you the things that I learned about the Bosphor Strait. This strait divides Istanbul into two continents, Europe and Asia. It stretches about 20 miles long, with its narrowest point being just around 1,800 feet wide. As you can imagine, the Bosphor has been a crucial maritime route, connecting the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara and then to the Mediterranean, which was amazing for facilitating trade and cultural exchanges. Today, it remains one of the busiest waterways in the world. The Bosphorus features unique marine currents, where the surface water flows from north to south, while the strong undercurrent moves in the opposite direction. It has three major bridges that connect the European and Asian sides of Istanbul, and as you can imagine, it's lined with historic, luxurious waterfront houses that reflect a blend of European and Ottoman architectural styles. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, show you guys Istanbul with Burke and Swat! Swat, yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always a great time with these two. And we have Jose here too, one of my dive buddies in from Miami. Where is he? You okay? <laughs> we partied last night, we had a great time. We're suffering a little bit today, but we're gonna make it through it. We're just doing a quick tour of Istanbul. We're gonna eat a lot of really good food, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Stay tuned. Our first stop is the Basilica Cistern. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. If you buy your ticket online, you can avoid this super long line. Look at that. It goes on forever. When you first walk in, you have this beautiful view of the top of the columns, but then you have to go down two flights of stairs to reach the main floor. The first thing you notice is the sheer size of this place. It's approximately the size of two football fields. They're roughly 459 feet in length and 230 feet wide. This cistern is enormous. It has a whopping 336 columns, each 30 feet high. It's like a force of pillars down here. It looks like it goes on forever. There you go. Look at that. 
And when you look at these columns, you'll see that they're not uniform. They're a mix and match from various ruins, kind of like ancient recycling. Some of them have these beautiful carvings. Check out this Medusa head. Apparently there's two. One is upside down and the other is sideways. Why? No one really knows. Maybe it was to negate the power of Medusa's gaze, or maybe the builders just wanted to have some fun. The forest of columns support the ceiling and the city above it, showcasing the impressive engineering skills of the Byzantine Empire. The next thing you notice is that the floor is covered in water. What you walk on is an elevated, graded pathway so that you can see the water below. Now, the water's not there by accident. In the 6th century, when Istanbul was still known as Constantinople, the city needed water, especially during sieges when enemies would cut off supplies. So Emperor Justinian I built this massive cistern to store and supply water for the city. This place has survived for over 1,500 years. It's witnessed empires rise and fall. If these columns could talk, can't imagine the stories they'd tell. Here you can see the water dripping down the wall. After visiting the cistern, we stopped into a little cafe where we had some Turkish coffee and sweets. This is a dessert called baklava. It's so delicious. It's sweet. It has different kinds of nuts in it. It's made with filo dough and honey and you can make it with pistachio, with walnuts, all different kinds of nuts. It's really, really delicious. I highly suggest you try it when you come to Turkey. All right, now we're gonna enter the first mall in history. We're entering Istanbul's Grand Bazaar. It's one of the oldest and largest covered markets in the world, and you can buy just about anything you can think of. A bazaar is what you call a market in a Middle Eastern or Asian country. It's so large that it covers 61 streets and includes over 4,000 shops. You guys know I love cooking, so I stocked up on spices. So many spices, it smells amazing in here. And surprisingly, which I didn't know, you can find incredible deals for leather goods in the Grand Bazaar and they are super high quality and they rival any luxury brands here in the United States and in Europe. It's a real project. Comment below. That's what we put for Italian stuff. I don't know for, for, excuse me, I need an advertisement for you. <laughs> Tell them where you're shopping. Yes, Gian Mori, Grand Bazaar. <laughs> you guys got to check this place out. The leather is incredible, super high quality. Everything. Is that a card it's beautiful. No. I'm getting this jacket, for sure. <laughs> there we go. That's where they're looking. We know where to go, huh? Yeah. You guys know where to sweet. go. Now it's Now it's sweet. <laughs> After a little shopping, we stopped for a snack. We decided to try the classic doner. Doner consists of seasoned meat that's shaped into a log and slow roasted for hours on a vertical spit. And to top it off, they added some french fries which were honestly perfect for the state that we were in after partying the night before. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely give it a try when you're in Istanbul. After exploring a few more sections of the bazaar, we decided to make our way across the city so that we could go to a super special restaurant to have a very unique meal. A lot of fishing going on over here. The name of the bridge is Galata and it's a really famous fishing spot okay. for the locals. Very cool. Obviously everything's updated now, but 
Yes, sir. Oh, okay. He said, like, this is the best one. Alright, apparently, apparently this is the best spot to try. What is it that we're trying? No, sheep and okay. This dish is called kokorich. It normally consists of lamb or goat intestines wrapped around seasoned ofo, which are the entrails and internal organs of an animal, including sweetbreads, hearts, lungs, kidneys, and typically this is grilled. I know it doesn't sound very appetizing, but you guys know how adventurous I am with food and I love to try everything. And this restaurant is known for its kokorich and it's apparently the best in Istanbul, so we gotta give it a try. Take it with the whole, like, whole chunk okay. and eat it. That looks really good. Let's go! Yes, yes. After discovering how delicious sheep intestines are, we continued to walk through the beautiful city of Istanbul and we found this spot with restaurants and little shops and made our way into this little store that sold premium honey. One of the best. This has 5,000 different flowers. Wow. Very good. We just started. You said we just started. Yeah, we can try this. This is number two in the world. This is the number one. The number one is coming in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven thousand different flowers. The second thing is uh, two thousand eight hundred meters elevation. And the, the elevation is makes like uh, when when it's like so hot high, nobody like even not animals and human disruption. So it's pure wild honey. Yeah, it's about the taste. Yeah, yeah. But just to compare. Just to give me the... Just to compare. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Check that tower out. It's like a princess is in there. This is the Galata Tower that was built as a watchtower. Now it's just a museum. No princesses. However, here in the middle of the Bosphorus Strait, you see the Maiden's Tower. Legend has it that there was an emperor who loved his daughter very much, and an oracle predicted that she would die by snakebite on her 18th birthday. So to try to prevent the prophecy from coming true, the emperor built this tower in the middle of the Bosphorus to keep his daughter away from snakes. However, as they were celebrating her 18th birthday, he gave his daughter a basket of exotic fruits to celebrate the fact that they were able to break the prophecy. However, when she reached into the basket for a fruit, a small snake had been hiding among the fruit and bit her, and she ended up dying in her father's arms. So tragic. All right, we just walked for what seemed like an eternity. The sun's down now. We're going to this restaurant called the Sun. So, let's see. Yeah. As I said earlier in this video, I'm definitely getting fat on this trip. Look at all this amazing food. I've accepted my fate. I don't even care because Turkish food is delicious. Hey guys, I died last night. I had to pass out after that dinner. I was so exhausted after being hungover and we walked like over 25,000 steps throughout the city. But I hope you enjoyed our little tour. It was really fun. Istanbul is a beautiful city with so much to do. But we're on our way south and we stopped at this place for lunch. We came here last year and it was incredible. The lamb here is delicious. It's roasted over holes and then cut fresh for you. We're gonna go inside and get some grub. I told Swat I'm not gonna fit in any of my bikinis anymore. I'm getting so fat here. We've been eating non-stop. It's so crazy. These guys can eat. <laughs> Oh, 
also. Alright guys, gonna dig in. How is it going? Alright, we arrived to his mirror. Look at my room. We're staying in this cute little boutique hotel. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Yes. It's a view. Cute spot, right? Now we're walking to the boat so that we can go prepare our gear for tomorrow. Apparently the marina is within walking distance from our hotel, so that's awesome. We're here at the store to get some some snacks for the boat tomorrow. And there's a dog just laying in the, in the middle of the store. <laughs> Turkey take very good care of their strays. They have a really good program for it. In Turkey, there's a no kill, no capture policy. So whenever you see a dog with a tag on its ear, that means that it's already been vaccinated and sterilized. So we're here on this guy's boat. We were watching him today fight a tuna for like Five hours he was fighting it? Six hours. Six hours. Six hours. Wow. Six and a half, seven. Six and a half, seven hour fight. How is he still standing? <laughs> but now we have the caravan coming with our gear, so we're gonna set that up and prepare for tomorrow. Where we're all gonna go out together and we're gonna have a great time. Shoot some tuna. The plan is to wake up tomorrow super early. We have to be here at four o'clock in the morning. We really wanna be in the water actually before light so it's gonna be a very very early morning hopefully i can get some sleep tonight all right i'll see you on the boat tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> 